So I just got myself a brand new Sultan food dehydrator and I'm quite excited to put it to use in the next day or two. Hey folks, Joe here. Time for a little bit of a video. I haven't doing, done any videos here on the main channel in quite a while. <laughs> Plaid. That's, that's rude. You want a treat? I'll get you a beer. We call her treats. Beer. Oh, here comes sandpaper. One treat each. High five. High five. High five. Good girls. That's all. That's all I got. Anyway, so we're back. Uh, I haven't done a video here on the main channel for quite a while. I have been doing YouTube videos, about 20 some videos in the last few weeks. I have a secondary channel now for uh, hockey. I'm a big hockey fan, National Hockey League, Philadelphia Flyers fan. That's my other channel. Maybe I'll put a link in the description box down below just for fun. Anyways, going back a couple of years and beyond, I used to do a lot of food dehydrating. I dehydrate things for year-round use here at the house, and I'd also dehydrate things to use on backcountry camping trips, canoeing, adventures, cycling, sea kayaking, etc., etc. A bunch of years ago, I bought a Sultan food dehydrator. It was on sale at uh, a local store. It served me well for many years. A few years back, I ordered a bigger dehydrator, a 9-tray Excalibur dehydrator. That also served me very well. I moved out of town for a little while. I was in uh, Winnipeg, Manitoba for 15 months, and I came back here to Thunder Bay last, late last March. Now, before I moved to Winnipeg, I'll set that box aside. Before moving to Winnipeg, I was downsizing, selling off a lot of things, and I sold both of my food dehydrators. So I haven't done a food dehydrating video in over two years. Well, that's going to change starting either later today or tomorrow. Uh, over here, I'll grab a bowl. This is one of three bowls I have set aside. A bunch of uh, peppers here. Nice big green peppers. These are actually quite spicy. And not spicy in comparison to these guys. These ones, and I have two more bowls over here, and I have more still growing in the garden, which I'll be harvesting over the next couple of days. These guys here, we took out a frozen pizza the other night to have a quick bite to eat while watching a hockey game, it was an exhibition game. And I chopped up uh, three of these little guys into little pieces, sprinkled in on the pizza, along with some mushrooms, some chopped up tomatoes, also from the garden. So we got some extra cheese, baked that up. Oh man, was it ever hot. These were far hotter than I expected. Uh, I've used a couple cents, one pepper per meal, finely diced, I used in a couple of things, that wasn't too bad. Most of these I'm going to end up cutting into very small pieces, running through the food dehydrator, and set them aside to use later on in very. These red ones, and another couple of bowls of them as well, these ones are the hot ones. Soups and sauces and stews and stuff like that. Anyways, I got my new food dehydrator. This just arrived, uh, this is Friday, it arrived yesterday, Thursday. Same brand as my first one, the old Salton that I had. This is another Salton. I'll pop it out of the box here. Put that back in this box. Close that up. And we'll set this one aside. And we will take off the packaging. Tray or for fruit roll-ups and an herb tray. 
You can buy these separately as accessories. I will be adding some more of these very soon. I had extras with my old dehydrator. Those went when I sold it. So we'll set those in there for now. We'll set these guys back up. Hydrator, on and off switch here, power cord, that's pretty self-explanatory. If you don't know what a power cord is, you shouldn't be watching this video. Over here we have our temperature adjustment, and this guy will go from uh, 90, 95 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 35 Celsius, up to 70 Celsius, or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. As you probably know, or maybe some of you don't know, different foods are dehydrated at different temperatures. Fruits and vegetables vary through a certain temperature range. Things like meats, they get dehydrated at a much higher temperature, more like 160. So it's very good to have the temperature control on your dehydrator. I've been thinking about buying a new one for quite a while since I got back in town. When I was in Winnipeg, I didn't really have the space to get into it, plus I had a feeling like I got staying in Winnipeg that long. So this guy here, I got it off uh, Amazon. I've been almost pulling the trigger a few times. They're regular $79.98, which is good value for what you're getting. Very nice dehydrator. My old one lasted for many years, so it was in perfect condition when I sold it. Anyways, uh, I noticed it went from $79.98 down to $75 or $74.99 or whatever a week or two ago. And then a few days later, it dropped down to $71 and change. And then three nights ago, on Wednesday night, I know, I was checking it again, I noticed it was on for 53.37, which is 33% off, that's one third. So that's when I hit the button, ordered it up, and arrived in a couple of days. Here we are. First test for this new machine will be a bunch of hot peppers. I'll be starting that video either later today or tomorrow, finishing it up the next day. So it'll be finished either tomorrow or Sunday. And I'll edit it all together. And I'll get that one up for you guys as well. I used to do a lot of food dehydrating videos. I did uh, quite a few videos using the dehydrated ingredients either here in dishes at the house or out in the field on canoe trips, kayak trips, uh, bikepacking adventures, and so on. We're going to get back into that fairly soon as well. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed in the past, uh, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. That helps with the YouTube algorithms. I'll try to remember at the end of this video to put a, a link up here or here or a playlist of all the old dehydrating videos I did in the past. I think there's about 40 videos. Feel free to check some of those out. Leave any comments on any ones that you like. And uh, stay tuned for the next one. Thanks for watching and you're awesome.